She's fancy. I'm 16 mentally. You already know who I am. Guys, how cute is my cake? I'm obsessed. Wait, you, obsessed? Wait, you guys didn't read my cake? Oh, can we light this one again? Hey guys, welcome back to another video from me. Today it's my birthday. Every in her 20s be like, anyway, okay, I'm turning 26. Let's just get over it, okay? I'm actually hosting a little dinner party for all my friends in Dubai, my school friends, my college friends, XYZ, and I'm gonna look fabulous, okay? Emrata, I'm coming for you. Do you guys know Emrata tried to beef with me? That's on TikTok if you wanna go see that. But anyway, let's begin. Okay guys, so I'm running a little late as per usual and I did my brows off camera. I'm kind of loving like the no foundation makeup look these days. My MAC um, concealer palette, it's like so disgusting because I've used and abused it. This is a medium color correcting palette from MAC, which I'm obsessed with. I love the brand MAC. But basically I just use this palette to color correct pigmentation. I'm just gonna apply this concealer all over my face. Okay, we're just gonna go straight. Okay, so I wanna do this fun little thing that everyone does for their birthday, like 25 reasons, 25 things I've learned. I was just gonna say 25 reasons. Kill myself. I can actually list um 25 reasons to off yourself, then 25 lessons I've actually learned because the lessons make me want off myself, if that makes sense. It's NW40, but um it's pretty much my own shade, but it's my birthday today, so we're gonna look a little glamsy and I'm not using my own shade, you know? The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna apply the highlighting shade like that in the center of my face. I will say it's a little thick and cakey over here, so you just wanna skip caking it in, like near your cheeks and your nostrils. The next thing is, it's the hardest thing for sure, a lot of 20, 25, 26. We're entering the age where everyone just talks about IVF, um, pregnancy and fertilizing eggs and decenter men. Okay, that's just my little advice. You have to decenter men. I, well, I saw this thing on TikTok, which is crazy. Apparently your mid twenties is a time people become crackheads. Like you find ways to cope, you know? And they're not obviously the best way to regulate your nervous system. So you obviously choose and abuse substances. And that's like your twenties is very important. It's very crucial for like what you're gonna be in your thirties. So if you're, if you're 30 and you're not a crackhead, I mean, good for you. A lot of people are addicts and a lot of people go through a lot of things and it starts from mid twenties, okay? So I wanna give myself props. Like I just wanna applaud for just being sane after everything I've been through in my life and things I've actually never disclosed in life ever on the internet and being able to just like just have coffee and go, go about my day I mean 10 points for me so um, being in a bad relationship can really make you do things you don't want to do it and relationship doesn't have to be just a boy it could be like friendships your parent relationships it could be anything you know in my mid 25s what I've learned is that there are a lot of things that I just is that I wish I traveled more I mean it is very expensive it's a privilege to just go about your life and just travel more like I wish I did college outside Dubai and I wish that was a thing because I'm very sheltered. I feel like I'm learning a lot of things that I feel like a lot of people know by now and I just didn't because I'm I just haven't traveled, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, this is just my concealing done. I have no foundation on my face. I will apply some onto my neck. And then I'm going to contour my face with the Charlotte Tilbury contour stick. This has literally been my dream makeup routine. It's very fast, very quick, as you can see. The worst thing is that this one, it just it's just gonna blob up, bro. I don't know when it's gonna come out. So I just put it really low. Like, I mean, my cheekbones are pretty high, so I just, I can't go higher. It just looks funny, I can't explain it. But this new thing that I'm obsessed with, <laughs> I've never done this before, is like setting in my baby hairs. It just makes me look so clean and nice. Like learning things now, okay? Setting up your um, baby hair has been a thing for a while, and I'm I'm just like, I just found this new hack. The next thing is that, guys, in your 20s, oh my god, this is so sad. I, I watched this TikTok, this girl's like talking about how, um, she made a whole like friendship essay about how as you're approaching your 20s, like your mid 20s especially, it's like, it very much is like an episode from Friends. I never knew like why people were crying when they were old, like, you know, when Rachel gets, it's her birthday and she's like nearing 30 and she's like talking about marriage kids and everything and like freaking out. That's, that's what I'm entering now. You know, it's like the first like step one of freaking out and then step 10 is freaking out when I'm 30. In this day and age, it's really hard to maintain and keep friendships. Like, it doesn't feel like how it did when I was 24 or 23 or 20 or 21 I was very excited I had a lot of energy and I'm like um what is going on why do I have not I have no energy to live anymore like what happened to that and then it hit me I was like oh it's just that um this sucks <laughs> I'm just getting old and I know I'm just 26 like it's not a big deal auntie shut your mouth somebody once mentioned how like you look at a 16 year old get like viral on the internet and like she's doing things and you in your 20s like you want to set her on fire that's what it feels like like at the Barbie movie like 
nothing is ever enough. Like I know I've done so much for a 25 year old. I'm like, nope, I I, I want more. I need more. I, I don't think I'm extraordinary. And that sucks. Like that mentality never dies on, let me tell you. I've had that since I was like 10. But anyway, friendships are not like how they used to be back in the day before. Like more people, like we don't hang out with friends anymore. That's not a thing anymore. Things are expensive, yes. But also like we have DoorDash, we have Instacart, we have things delivering to our house. We we have Task Rabbit. We have people fixing our furniture for us professionally. Back in the day, hanging out with your friends was like, hey, I need to fix a cabinet. Do you want to come over? I need to be dropped at the airport. Can you help me? And like be doing things and errands with your friends is very important. It's vital. Okay, it's the key to keep your, keeping your relationships in your 20s. And I told some of my friends, I was like, guys, if you need help, like ask me. You want me to like set up your garden? Like invite me. Like I'll help you out. You want me to drop you to your like to the airport? I'll do it. The States taught me like how friendships are and how important they are. Because in Dubai, it's not like you don't do that. I don't know why, but like I've lived here for so long and you just don't ask people to do things for you. I feel very selfish asking people that but after living in the states i realized it's very common to be like hey i need help with this and then people do show up and like people are like dependent on other people and that's how you make friends and you keep them that's crazy i know so if you're in your mid-20s you start realizing that everyone is busy everyone like life is hell i till this day i find it very like embarrassing and awkward to be like hey i actually need help with this i'm so embarrassed to ask unless they offer i don't like ever care to ask in your mid-20s i feel like you're really pulling i'm at least i am i'm like pulling strings trying to like keep in touch with all my friends i I care about my friends a lot I have very few and I care about every single one of them and mine doesn't translate well I'm not the one to like like your Instagram picture and hype you up like that's not what like I don't think that's friendship for me I have my notifications always turned off like I don't care who's liking it who's commenting because my, that's my job but like I feel like that kind of like you need to discard that as you're getting older like hey I announced my pregnancy and you didn't like like it on my story like you didn't view it I'm like that's not what friendship is hello so I hate friendships like that because I'm like that doesn't show any effort that you care about someone somebody no, we don't even actually check up and talk to people because you just watch their story you're like oh you're having a baby got it like you're pregnant and you're, you have a baby got it cool you don't have to actually text them or ask them like back in the day people would actually call and text them and be like hey how are you doing we don't have conversations like that anymore which is so shocking these days we watch somebody's tiktok story and we're like okay this girl's pregnant and just go about our lives you know what i mean which sucks which sucks which sucks it sucks my 20s oh my god this nose contour is crazy so that's something i've learned and something i'm trying to like stick on with you know this is the time you guys you need to start popping your freaking vitamins okay girly pops it's the time where you need to absolutely be popping your b12s your b6s and get yourself one of those things where they forgot the name for it but i know what they do they literally put stuff into your cap it's like a stapler they shove it into your cap to scan something girlies you know what i'm talking about get that done please it's to find out if you have some cancer also it's to find out any diseases you have from all the dumb busties from all the bum dusties um that gave you head look out for that care about your health okay i think it's still too young but it freeze your eggs and stuff like that that's just my opinion i think it's like i've asked like my mommy and like people who are working in the medical field they're like it's too dumb crazy early to just be worried about babies and kids so i'm like okay freezing eggs and stuff at 30 29 maybe i literally sounded like jojo siwa for a while that part of me is dead like i'm like michelle obama right now i don't know why Where, where's my spark what happened to my excitement that's something i really hate about myself or getting older is just like what happened to the childish funny baby antsy i don't want to hear the comments be like you're growing old antsy or just mature guys what happened to happiness <laughs> I turned 26 and I'm like, why am I not happy anymore? Like, what happened to that? That's just my little opinion. Feeling a little gloomy these days and nothing seems to make me happy. But anyway, I have a cute little dinner with my friends, an early dinner, you could say. And I'm going out on a date at the end, late night, some good cozy vibes, okay? I'm a player now. I love to play games and my dream date is honestly, like, I'm more of like, let's go play games than somebody who's like, let's go to the fanciest dinner and have steak. Like, that's sure, but I don't want to be with a bum, boring bozo. I'm seeing this person and he's very sweet for once my friends are like okay this guy is actually hot i'm like thank god because my choice in men oh you've seen it it's really bad um but for once i'm like this is a hot man like marry me wait something is off i did my hair at like the salon she gave me like soft little beachy waves which is so cute made her some red bow which i'm so excited about but i'm in my take making my makeup very like, soft and elegant vibe nothing crazy okay what else have i learned Nancy? come on i don't know i feel like i have to make my brows a little blacker i'm low-key in the mood for contacts i haven't worn contacts in a while and it's my birthday so if i don't do contacts when would i okay so i have contacts in it's not like the most drastic color i think it's like more of a brown gray if you can tell but we're gonna do lashes now i'm actually just liking it being dark brown and just like leaving it as it is i'm just gonna waterline my eyes with ramel's candle eyes chocolate brown so it's like a chocolate brown look i've seen amrata do this it's like more smoky i don't think i wanted that smoky but so I got this like little tool from Amazon, which is one of my favorite tools. Where is it? 
So it's called Khaleesi. It's kind of like a mini heater for your lashes. It's just gonna make your lashes like stand up long enough. So I just wanna do that. So I'm gonna use Ambering Rose from MAC. Um, it's a very beautiful pink color. And I'm gonna put some on my nosy, some in my forehead, and then I'm just gonna apply some blush. And then I'm gonna use my MAC Whisper of Guilt, okay? I cannot scream how good Whisper of Guilt is. I've got all my friends on this. If you're on my skin, you have to go get this one. It's crazy. I don't know, guys. I don't think I wanna touch my lashes. Is that crazy? Wow, this thing is hot as hell. Better than love, you face mascara all over my lashes. Oh my god, this look is crazy. I love it. It's so simple. Okay, guys, sun is setting. I'm running out of time. Let's do so for my lips. I'm gonna do a little bit of NYX Espresso lip liner. Um, I line my lips with this, and then I'm gonna use Morphe peanut all over and then taunt on top. Okay, then I'm gonna use this NYX Stay Matte but not flat powder. I found this, I bought this in Dubai like way back. I mean, five, six years ago. I have to say it, literally I'm already lying. Maybe two years ago, but it's called Soft Beige. This has to be the best setting powder. This beats Charlotte Tilbury, but I just don't know where I bought it, when I got it, what brand. I've looked for this exact brand and model everywhere and I just can't find it. But let me just show you what this does, right? So this is my eye and my under eye is, it's never looked so bright. Look at that. Tell me I'm crazy. Like what, what? That is insane. I'm gonna take my little MAC bronzer, just bronze my head. And one last time, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil in, it's called Lip Cheat, but it's a shade Pillow Talk Intense 3 and just like line my lips because there's powder all over it. Ben Nye Seal setting spray, I always talk about the spray, it's like the best setting spray ever if you want your makeup to literally just stay on your face. Okay guys, so I'm ready to get dressed and I'll see you guys at the beach. Guys, guess, oh my god, the music is so loud. Guys, guess what, I'm back in Dubai, and it's been a while, I haven't seen my friends from high school, from college, and guess who I have. I, I am speechless, I haven't seen my friends in so long. Is that? And him. You guys have been in my videos right before. Hello. You yes. have. What did I do with your podcast? podcast. We did also look back. KFC look back. Is it still up on my channel? Because no, no, I, no. I, 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 I think I archived it. I'm so embarrassed. But, but the painting video was fun. I think it's still up. Yeah, Tell me it's, it's up. up. Okay, it's the up, one that I painted up. my ex in the yeah, yeah, yeah. prison. Lubaba is fashionably late. She's going to watch this vlog and I'm going to stab her to death. But she's always late. Always late. Like, I've always made jokes. Like, she's never going to show up to my wedding, my C-section, my birth video. Never. She's never going to be there. So, her and her sisters, they're on their way. And, yeah. Um, I'm going to get a cocktail. Wait. Guys, Lubaba is still freaking late. And I'm over this. Um, she'll always be late. And if you're seeing this, I'm going to run you over. And I see you next time. Best birthday gift ever. The tea's on my phone. I'm going to miss all my friends see it. Is this like the actual account? Yes. Both are legit. Legit. Because I. <laughs> Zara, don't worry, but. Maybe not. Maybe not. I get it. I get it. Elise. She's taking a second. <laughs> Wait, shut the phone. No. No. <laughs> Wait, I gotta do the color. Yeah, change it. So you know what you can do? You can make it um, orange, yellow, little yellow. What do you want? Pink font. I like. Ooh, no, this light is so good. So good, right? So then you have it like the way this works is that it has to your shadow has to be right under your chin, and then. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! 
Happy birthday, babe! Woo! Let's keep it 23. Wait, Auntie, how old are you now? 16, babe. <laughs> Guys, finally, it's 10.30 and the whole gang is here. <laughs> Our Lily Smoke comes with the way. I got cheated on last year, raise your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever Probably. picked a man's bill in your lifetime, raise your hands. Elise, Lily, come on, all of you. <laughs> no way, Farva, you've never <laughs> A man's bill, damn, she's standing on business. Literally just finishing dinner and this is what's going on. Literally, girlhood. Covering the TV. So this is this is what happens behind the scenes.